this is based from a model which I saw Marcus Roulet um, do on his channel. But he used a 30mm EDF, which I thought was just not enough. And watching his video, if you go, I'll link the video in the description. Um, if you look at that, it's very underpowered. I mean, just got enough power to really fly around. I didn't want that. So I have taken his files, his STLs of the front point. I have uh, enlarged it in the X and Y axis to get a 50mm EDF in the front there. Because the 50 mils go a little bit better than the 30, or because they go a lot better. Um, and hence a slightly larger boom. And I have vacuum bagged my own wings. Um, the yellow foam cord. See the wing tip here, yellow foam cord, and then there is some 90 GSM carbon laid over top of that with some uni for stiffness. Um, you'll notice on this, there are no control surfaces anywhere. That's my little secret. Because you can see, in the servo slots here, I have got my two servos. Okay, there's only two servos on this aircraft, just those two there. And it is now a pitcher on, so I have not used his pinholes there. I have used a brass sleeve with a 7mm fiberglass rod going through the middle of the 8mm sleeve. Um, and that pivots in there quite nicely. And I have directly linked the servo to the little control horn on the leading edge of the wing. And I have a pitcher on. Now with the nose cone off, um, I had sized this and hoped that a 1300 force tail would fit in there. It does fit in there. However, I cannot get my CAG back far enough. With a 1300 force tail on there, it balanced perfectly along the leading edge of the wing. So I had to work out how much weight I needed and I had to buy a battery specifically. Um, I've managed to get away with an 850 4S. It's about as big as I can fit. Um, even still, the uh, CG is quite far forward, but it works. Um, if I was doing this again, I would shorten the nose up a little bit more. Um, but I don't think I'll do this again. This has been a fun project and I'll leave it as it is. So with the battery connected up, you'll see that here I have my pitch control and my roll control. Now that gives me plenty of plenty of authority. Now I've got quite a bit of pitch in there. Most people will be like, that's way too much pitch. It's actually not. It's actually quite doughy in pitch. So it's probably a combination of the fact that it's just changing the angle of incidence of the main wing um, versus the elevator pitching it around and probably the nose heavy CG. So yeah. We'll go fly it. And today we've even got an audience. Look at these girls. All waiting there to see some action. All right, switching over to my GoPro now. Up, down, right, left. Yeah, right, left, yep. Yeah, make sure right's right. Yeah. All right. Get the launch.
crosswind today. And that's that. That's that. That's pretty much a full uh, battery of the 850. The 850 being not huge on a 50 mil EDF gives us around about what three or four, three or four minutes. How long that was? But yeah, as you can see, a bit more sprightly than the original. <laughs> 